Hello everybody, my name is Don. I'm with frogwallets.com. We're not here to talk about anything that's going on at the Frog Wallet site, but what I am here to do is tell you about a method that I came up with to create a unique password for any site, any app, and all you need is your mind and you're able to log in. All right, so the problem with that I found with passwords, and this is what I was trying to fix, is that uh, a typical person's gonna have a crap load of websites that they use every day and they're not always going to remember those passwords especially if it's a site you don't visit very often and then on top of that you know over the years they've made these rules that kind of complicate what kind of password you're allowed to use and which kind you're not allowed to use and then on top of that as a website guy and I worked in IT departments I was responsible for remembering passwords not only for everything that I do additionally for everything that the company needed me to do. All right, so that is that is the problem, but is there a solution? Yes, the solution is to create a blueprint for creating passwords. So what is a blueprint? A blueprint is simply a set of instructions that you yourself understand. So if you take a look at the sticky note here, it says pick up kid, whose kid? Get milk, from where? What kind? 2%? Whole milk? Skim milk? Almond milk? Fizzle? The jizzle? What does that mean? I don't know. I didn't write this note. But had I wrote this note, I would know probably pretty easily whose kid I'm supposed to be picking up, what kind of milk and where to get it, and what the hell fizzle on the jizzle means. Basically, blueprints are used everywhere. They are a standard practice in like the construction and renovation industry. It's simply a drawing that uh, denotes certain markers that the person is trained to understand. And that's what I'm going to help you do with passwords. All right. So the first thing that we have to be conscious of is we've got to make these passwords that are going to meet the requirements that all these websites and apps have these days. And those requirements, these are the common ones that I found. All passwords have to have a capital letter, lowercase letter, at least a number, at least a special character, and a lot of sites want them to be eight characters long. So now we know the rules that we have to abide by. Let's make our bl blueprint. All right, so what, I, what I've done here is I've broken this down to three rules. You can create more rules if you'd like, and I'm going to give you some examples. All right, so we've got three rules, a word rule, a number rule, and a separator rule. So in the separator rule, um, here's some examples, an exclamation before each rule, the pound sign or the hashtag sign after each rule, or the and sign in between each rule. And so let's take a look at the other rules, like the number rule. Uh, here's an example, a five digit number, um, a significant date backwards, especially if you're using like your birthday, you don't wanna say, you know, because people can kind of guess your birthday. So, but if you do it backwards, yeah, they're never going to guess that. A neighbor's address. Uh, I like the neighbor's address because they could guess your address, but let's say you're getting mail from 111 all the time um, and you live at 113, you might have that number in your head pretty readily. Now, these are just examples. Anything that comes to your mind when I say number rule, word rule, or separator rule makes sense for you. And then finally, there is the word rules, like a, st a state capital that you love or possibly absolutely hate, um, a word that you find funny that's capitalized, like mangrove. And then there's also, this is the one I like, is a three-letter word that is camel cased. Now, if you don't know what camel cased is, it just means it's one letter that's capitalized, the next letter is lowercase, and then the next letter is capitalized, the next letter is lowercase. Since I'm only using three, it's up, down, up. I know I just threw a lot of information at you, and it might sound like that's complicated, but let me tell you this. It is very simple. It sounds way more complicated than it really is. Let's take a look. All right, so first of all, your three rules, they never change. They're always going to be the same. So in my case, like I said, I'm going to so select the camel cased three letter word. And then for the number rule, I'm going to pick a five digit number. And then for the separator rule, I'm going to say I'm going to put the and sign 
in between each one of my other rules, the word rule and the number rule. So my first rule is my word rule. My second rule is my five digit number rule. And my third rule is the separator rule in which I put the and sign in between the other two rules. Okay, that's not really that complicated. So how does it look? All right, so once again, I selected those three rules, the camel case three letter word, the five digit number, and the and sign in between those two. And so I'm gonna pick for my camel case word, mob, M-O-B. So capital M, lowercase o, capital B. Now, why I pick that is because that matters to me. Not because I wanna be in the mob, but because one of my favorite TV shows is Warehouse 13, and one of the main characters on there was Micah Ophelia Baring. Um, and then, so, so I'm going to remember that. I, it, it's just something that I'm going to remember. The five-digit number, 1001, which is binary for 17. 17 is the age in which I got my driver's license. Okay. And then the and rule. Okay. I'm making a and, so one rule and the second rule. So that makes sense in my mind. And this is how it looks. Capital M, lowercase o, capital B, and 10,001. Binary for 17. Okay, that's pretty simple for me to remember. And remember, these are your rules. You don't have to use the same rules I do. You can make up anything, but if you just go based on the blueprint, pick three rules. One's a word rule, one's a number rule, and one's a special character rule or separator rule. And it's pretty simple. All right, so that is our core password, the MOB 10001 and 10001. But there is one more thing to make these passwords unique for every site. And what, how you do that is with the glue rule. So to make the password unique for every site that you're visiting, you need to have something unique. And you need to understand where are you putting these passwords into? Are you at Facebook, Yahoo, Twitter, the name of your bank, the name of an app? It doesn't really matter. But if you know where you're at or where you're trying to log in, this is how you create the glue rule. So essentially what the glue rule is, is it's a final rule. It's the last rule you'll have to remember. And it's, it's a dynamic uh, rule that is derived from the site or the app that you're trying to use or log into. And so how we make the glue, first you need to understand the glue changes with every site that you're at, but the glue doesn't change your original password. That mob and 10,001 will never ever change for me. The glue also gives you a unique password for every site or app that you're using. Let me show you. So how we make the glue is we just basically do like we did before, is we create one final rule. And here's some examples. Uh, so you take a deviation of the place that you're trying to log into. It could be the first three letters of the site. It could be the last three letters. It could be only the vowels in the word or the name. It could be the, only the consonants. Or it could be the first and the last letter. Okay, once again, we're starting to sound complicated, but remember, I only have to pick one of these. So I'm going to pick the last three letters of the site or the app that I'm using. That's my glue. That's it. So let's take a look at a couple examples. So again, my glue rule is the last three letters of the site or the app that I'm using. So if we take popular sites like Facebook, my glue for that site is O-O-K, all lowercase. Twitter, T-E-R. Google, G-L-E. Uber, B-E-R. The last three letters are where I'm logging into. If it doesn't have three letters, like let's say you're using an app called Go or A, then just use what's available to you. So we'll put it all together. I take my original rule, my MOB and 10,001 plus the glue. Once again, MOB and 10,001 plus the glue. The glue is changing for every site or app that I'm using. And this is how it ends up at the end. The rule is always the same. Doesn't matter where I'm at. It's always the same. 
capital M, lowercase o, capital B, and 10,001. That's going to be the same for Google, Uber, Facebook, whatever the hell. My glue does change. Yahoo, it would be H-O-O. -O. Facebook, O-O-K. Google, G-L-E. Again, the last three letters of the place that I'm trying to log into. And the results, well, once again, it's pretty simple. M-O-B and 10,001, who for Yahoo. O-O-K for Facebook. G-L-E for Google. Pretty simple. And so the last thing that we have to be conscious of is did we satisfy all the rules for all these sites that you run into? Did we use a capital letter? Yes. Uh, did we use at least one lowercase letter? Yes. Did we use a number? Yes. Did we use a special character? Yes. And is the, the password a total of 12 characters long? If you use rules like I suggested there, it will always be that way because you're always, your root is going to have uh, plenty of characters, three letters plus a sign plus five more. That's right there. That's uh, nine. So then you just add the three for the glue and you're up to 12. And my password is always going to be 12 for whoever or wherever I log into. It is just that easy. Now, I will say this, that once you start um, going through this, you make the three rules and you might change them. But once you start going through and saying, OK, here's my rules. This is what I'm going to do. I'm tired. Of, I'm tired of forgetting passwords. You log into these sites and you start changing your password and you will find that those first three rules that never change within five passwords, they're cemented in your brain. The only thing that you have to maybe have a little issue with is the glue rule. And you just have to remember, OK, am I using the first and last letter? Am I using the last three? Am I only using the vowels? But after a period of time, you know, maybe another five or six passwords. Boom, you've got that rule, too. And so whenever you look at a site, hey, Facebook, you instantly know your password. Yahoo, bam, I know what my password is. It's that easy. I I started doing this about 10 years ago. The thing that I noticed is I would go to websites that I just don't ever use, like not even once a year, less than that. And you know, sometimes five years, you know, I made a password five years ago. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I need to log back in there and check this or do this. And I'm like, oh, did I have my rules in place? And that's the first one I tried. Boom, right in. I mean, it's that easy. It is that easy. So there you go. I hope this helps you. Write it out on a piece of paper. Type it out. Just use a couple examples like Facebook, Google. Make your rules. Remember your rules. And they're unique to you. You don't have to use what I, I use, uh, the examples I put in this video. You can use anything. But just make sure that you satisfy the 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 requirements for most of the passwords. And, and then once you do that, you've got your rules, you know how to make the glue, voila.